everybody, I'm Shauna and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Welcome. We're going to do some paint pool without silicone and without any mixing media. So we won't get cells, but we're not really after cells on this particular project. We're after seeing what kind of creation we can get with the little pot here. However, we're also going to put onto a canvas the leftover paint. So instead of wasting, we're just going to kind of continue with the painting and see what we get. So it's really not a just a painting. So what we're going to do is take our paints. These are acrylic paints. Shake them up. And let me just get a couple of these ready to go. Let me get them all ready to go. Pick your colors you guys want to use. Uh, I already got that one and that one. And how about some white? Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and start, and we're going to whoops, start with this green, <laughs> which decided it wanted to be first. So it's kind of thick, it's way too thick, but let's just see what happens. And it's making little cloggy noises on me here. So it'd be kind of interesting just to see what happens. Okay, I think that's enough of that paint. And now, we're going to let that run for a second here. Unfortunately, I see some clogging of the paint. Let's see if we can just pick some of that off. Put it right out of the way. Now, this is just plain acrylic, so hopefully nobody's really allergic to it. And I did not water down any of this paint, which maybe I probably should have. And some white. Now, let's just add some little cocoa. See, now that's what it should look like if the water is watered down well. This one probably is not watered down, but let's just put it around the edge and see what we get. All right. Kind of cool, really. <laughs> the only thing I didn't think about is how to pick this up <laughs> so we can see what goes on to our board. And once again, it really is not... Um, thin paint because it wasn't pre-mixed with anything this one is just old paint so we're just going to add some of this around the edges of this canvas and since I hit it we're going to add this I hit the thing with my like, lid we'll add a little bit now now let's go ahead and add some more pink now remember it's not wasting because it's going on to the canvas and from there we're going to try something else Okay, I don't know if I got any orange left. I don't think there is. Orange is just my favorite color. No, it's totally empty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lift this. Oh, look, all bubbles coming up. So that's where all the little hole is. We're going to go ahead and lift this straight up if we can. I'm going to use this little cheap brush here, paint brush. Lift this straight up. There, come on. Let me get a hold of you. There it goes. We're just going to sit it out of our way, you guys see? Oh, there's some places that are going to get covered. I guess we could cover them before we move it. I think I would cover it with the white. Oh, no. I don't know. The cool guys. It's just because it runs faster. So it would be a little easier to get that to go faster. Okay, so let's just move this little guy out of our way. We're going to let it dry up for our next little adventure with this. And I see another spot. So you couldn't see down low here. I pick up some of this paint here. So it'll add any more to it. We'll just kind of pick up what we got. Okay. Here we go. We'll just take that right over there out of our way. And let us do its thing. So now we're gonna add white. We'll add some more of this blue just because it is much lighter on Point out as much as I don't. And add some of pink. Okay. Oh, look, we got some lighter pink here. See how thick this one is, guys. Oh, maybe it'll work. It just spit at me. So let's see. Alright. That out of the way. Now we're going to go ahead and do what we would with the pour paint since we do have some loose paint here. And just let it run. Let's 
turn it this way. Go ahead and take your brush or whatever you got and just kind of help move it along if you need to. We're going to switch it. Let it run back a little. Kind of help it go along just a little. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white. Just whoops! Don't hit that. I'm so good at hitting it. And just let it pour right through there. Wish I had another darker. Oh, we forgot the green. Let me add some more green. Just because I think it needs a little something. Just a little darker. We'll just let it drip and run. There we go. No law says we can't. This is really what you call a non-adjustive painting. It's just having fun. It's creating something that really isn't, there's no right, no wrong way. Of course, with the art, there is no right or wrong way, in my opinion. You just have fun with it. And we'll just see if it will run down this way a little. If not, that's fine. Now, what we're going to do is lay it down. And I'm going to try something, just because it jumped in my head. Here we go. I'm going to take the silicone. Okay. And we're just going to add a few drops, just to see what it does. I have no clue. It may be wasting my silicone. We'll see. Because remember, there is no pouring media in here. Yep, it's just going to waste it. At least now we know. Okay. So then what we're going to do is since this one here, I said it had no pouring media in the paint. So let's go right ahead and we're going to add a little bit of well, silicone just right into it. Let me see if i got a little cup here. Sorry, guys. And we're just going to grab a wee bit, literally just a wee bit here. And we're just going to see what happens. If anything. Maybe a total waste of this stuff. Which is kind of expensive. So we're not going to waste too much of it. But we're going to use what's in it too, because we're not going to waste it. Okay, that out of my way. Definitely want the lid back on this ASAP. Don't want it all over my floor. I don't know if my floor is a mess right now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the one paint that is very runny. And we're just going to add it through that. Wherever our silicone is, we're just going to add a little bit of this. And now we're going to try once again to take the silicone and just add a drop or two. Let's just see what happens. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's definitely showing some promise. But only will the media is mixed. So let's go here. Kind of wasting sometimes. Be very careful not to waste this. Cool, you guys. Let's just, oh, look, there's a nice one here. Gotta drop silicone there and one here, and let's quit wasting this. Let's just see what it does. I mean, I don't know. So, we might get something a little different out of that. Get it to run some more. All right. Whoops. Nothing like dropping your own cameras, right? Get it to run this way, son. Well, adding the mixing media and a little bit of silicone did give me some cells. But once I tilt it, I kind of lost them. But I was just seeing anyway, so it probably was a waste of product. But no right, no wrong. We're just experimenting. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this down. I'm take my little brush here because I see a little piece of bad paint right here. Let's see if we can just get 
hit that up. There we go. Pick up some of this and just hide where my hand was. There we go. And I'm taking another look at this. Now, as you notice, there's some empty white spots. What's cool about that is the empty white box spots were actually going to add color by painting. So, we're going to have to let this dry first. So, we will take a little break.